these are some of the things that I believe that the Lord is saying um, so that we can get our house in order that we can um, fall in alignment to what he desires for our life right um, I I saw in while in my dream I, I, I saw vision and it's like it was repeating over and over for some reason I saw a standoff with a particular African nation First, Sudan faces an uncertain political future following the resignation of its civilian Prime Minister, Abdallah Hamdok, who'd only been back in office for six weeks after being ousted in a military coup in October. In a televised address, he said that without a new roundtable process to revive the country's transition to democracy, Sudan risked sliding into disaster. With the military and their citizens. So it was like a standoff, you know, half of the people and half military stand up one against the other right and it was as though they they tried to come to an understanding as one people but they could not weeks of violent protests the youth mobilized in the streets and deadly confrontations with police the Sudanese Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok has confirmed he will now step down while thousands marched against his recent deal to agree to share power with the army. His absence leaves the army solely in charge. They, they would have tried to have an understanding, to have one mindset, but for some reason there won't any understanding, right? They were divided on views and on morals and ethics. It's an army that say they will not tolerate protests and within a country that's on the brink of total collapse. So I, I don't know what will take place in Africa itself, in the continent of Africa and in the African nations, but I saw this standoff between military and citizens. It's a defiance that hasn't waned since the military abruptly took over from the civilian-led government, even when they backpedaled reinstating Mr. Hamduk. For the protesters, the military must leave power entirely. And it's as though the people, one side of persons were thinking one thing and standing for one thing, and there was another side standing for another. And one was backed by the military, one was normal civilians. And they were divided on opinions and views and these things and when i saw this in 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 the dream and even after the dream i saw you know i i began to see how divided as a world we have become you know in such a short time and the divided the, the division of the world keeps showing itself more and more every single day and i believe that in the future we can expect nations leaders to be really unreasonable and persons that support them and their views to stand with them and while the people may be in the streets in hoodies and t-shirts against the heavily armed security forces, they have a powerful force in their corner, with US Secretary of State Antony Blinken condemning the military and threatening punitive action. On social media, activists have said 2022 will be the year of the continuation of the resistance. And we, we, we can expect more and more division in the year ahead. And in the years to come. Protesters here are prepared to give up everything to demand democratic civilian rule, but now a new year is bringing in new problems for them.